What's up, folks? This is Blood, Sweat, and Bass here. Going to do another little review on my uh, on this uh, little item that I picked up not too long ago. I ordered this thing on Amazon. Cost me about forty bucks. Uh, free shipping. It's a Cobra, eighty pound, self cocking, pistol crossbow. Um, has an automatic safety when you cock it. Uh, I use this thing just for uh, target practice. Um, I also, uh, you know, uh, I attempted to shoot a squirrel and rabbits and things like that, but uh, they seemed to be uh, quicker than I was on the trigger and the loading and all of that stuff. Um, but I'm positive, positive that if I were to take a rabbit or a squirrel with this, that this thing is is definitely capable of doing so uh, within uh, within range. Uh, at any rate, um, it comes with a red dot scope, uh, which you see here. This is the scope. Um, I went ahead and um, bought an extra bowstring for it. Uh, this bowstring. Uh, cost me about I don't know five or six bucks maybe seven bucks um, comes with the two tips I don't know if you can see that comes with the two tips and uh, I got that string because the reviews said that the strings uh, they get frayed and I'm, I imagine that they you know whoever wrote the reviews saying that the strings were frayed um, was probably because they didn't use this or didn't use enough of uh, the bowstring wax. So I went ahead and picked up some extra bowstring wax as well. And also while reading the reviews, um, this crossbow comes with these bolts. Um, they're about eight inches long. Um, but they're three part. They're hollow. The tip, um, if I can show you here, the tip screws off. The tip comes off. It's hollow. And um, the other part of it is, of course, the PVC or these plastic wings or fletchings, if you will, on the back. Um, now, as I stated, while reading the reviews, I went ahead and picked up some extra ones of these. Um, I have this kind, and I also have this kind, and the differences, I don't know if you can tell that, but the differences are just the tips are longer and sharper on this particular set that I got. Um, they both come in packs of a dozen. And I forget, but I think the packs are about maybe five or six dollars a piece themselves. And the reason for that is if you could see here, I've destroyed several several of these bows. This is what happens. When you fire one on the first or second shot, it breaks from the end. These things break. Now, they sell a they sell a uh, PVC one where the entire body is all plastic PVC, hardened plastic, and they don't break. They absorb the energy on impact they don't bend they don't break and they stay in one piece which seems to be what uh what will work in this thing <clears throat> um but let me pick this thing up for you so the way you cock it well first of all let me show you its parts um of course it's got the uh the mount for the scale, um, 
This bar right here is what cocks it. And uh, the red dot scope up top. I'm pretty sure you can't. Uh, there it is. See that dot in there? And the way you cock it is there's a button right here on the handle. that you can cock it with. It's a button right there. And what you do is you push that button and you cock it. And right here is the safety it's on both sides, it's ambidextrous safety. And when you're ready to fire, you just push that forward. Like that. But not until you're ready to fire, of course. Um, then you insert the bolt. Give you a better view here. You insert the bolt under the clip like so. Push it back. Then when you're ready to fire, get that safety. And it's ready to fire. Okay, I'm going to step back about 10 paces. And I'm going to be aiming for that center black cross. And I'm grabbing it right at the point where it went in. And I'm pulling it straight out just to show you how far it penetrated into that target. It went all the way to there. From 10 paces, which the distance from the target to where I was shooting from is about, I'd say, 13 or 14 feet. And it went, the only thing that stopped it was the, the wings on the flexors. I'm pretty sure it would have went further, but, you know, it was stopped by the, by the wings themselves. This thing is dead accurate once you get, this, once you get it sighted in. Um, it, is, it is dead accurate. It's very well made. Um, this is fiber, the, the, the BOA, the recurve itself is fiberglass. The sights, you can take the sights off of this thing. Um... It is all aluminum construction except for the 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 uh, things that they have covering the grip back here. The uh, the metal inside the grip is is uh, is aluminum, but then they have this this textured plastic outer thing um, screwed onto it. But the inside, I said, is metal because it is part of the cocking mechanism. The only plastic parts on this crossbow is the uh, scope itself. The mount is in fact metal. Um, very well made. It weighs about, oh, I'd say maybe three pounds, if that much. Uh, but uh, it's very well made. I'm happy with it. Um, aside from the reviews, I've had fun with it. I've done well with it. And uh, and uh, it works well. So that's my review of the Cobra 80-pound self-cocking crossbow.